All right, so it's for somebody. While you was away or on vacation, or say you moved somewhere, but you wasn't ready to like fully move in, because a lot of people do that. Um, a lot of people do that. They don't fully, they're not ready to fully move in, so they wait a while. It happens all the time. When I first moved in my place, I wasn't fully ready to move in, and Lady said too. A lot of people do that too. They not ready fully to move in or to move yet, so they, you know, it might take them a month or two to fully move all the way in. Anyway. So somebody in that transition of you moving, especially you're somebody that then relocated to a different state or a different city that is away, you had already had stalkers, right? So you were not, you already had stalkers. So they were stalking you and they were watching you. Somebody went to someone either around your neighborhood or in your office, like management office, and they lied and told these people that you were they were your mate. To get access to your house. Somebody went inside your house. And was taking videos. They were particularly having sex. I just heard. Only fans. Or, I, so many, I only, I'm old y'all. So I only know only fans. I never was the type of person I know about them back pages. And all them other prostitute pages. And I know there's plenty of more of them sites. Where they be doing the, the chat live. And all that bullshit. I don't know them. So I can't tell you. Yeah I go on porn and shit sometimes but that's about it you know i'm a regular person i don't do all that extra shit <laughs> but um yeah somebody had got authorization to go on your shit because they knew whoever you are you work online they knew you will eventually start showing your place off and shit because this person is doppelganging you so they got this evidence of being in your house so they could really be like, this is me. How else did I get inside your house? This is a sequel from the last reading that you did. I said I was staying away, but I ain't going just yet. I'm going to leave when I want to leave. I'm stubborn. I'm big headed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So somebody ain't got some false... Uh, fake... It ain't fake author. They got authorization, but they got authorization through lies. By saying you were together or either you were their family. Somebody said either you were their family, y'all were together, or they work with you, management. Okay. They either put cameras in your house or they was recording things in your house. They said ask again tomorrow. So if you, whenever you reading this, and whenever you, whenever you get in this message, the next day you might be getting some answers or some type of clarity. I'm gonna do it one more time. It's so many pages, but I find myself always going on the same page. I don't like that. Come on now, because it's not all love and light. Somebody tried to make it seem like. It was love and light. Y'all was together. Y'all work with each other. Y'all friends. They, you, they family. But it's not. It's not all love and light. These people don't have good intentions for you. They did not have good intentions for you. Somebody could be realizing that now. Act now. Yeah, these people have, they have bad intentions for you. They had bad intentions for you. Somebody could be realizing that. They let a snake in your house. They gave the wrong authorization to somebody to be in your fucking house. What's really going on? So I want to use these. You thinking everything is okay. You probably getting some signs like, what's the fuck going on out here? But you don't really know. Yeah, shine brightly. Because whoever you are, you stand out. And you're proud about it. It's something very um, unique about you. But somebody is like, you're trying to, somebody's trying to keep you in your house. They don't want you to be outside in nature. Because that's how people are identifying you when you go out. It's something about you being in a the house. They're easily able to doppelgang you again because they already went in your house. And did something as far as got that footage. So they don't want you to go out. Because how you when you go out again, you're easily to be identified. Especially for especially if you like the different height, different skin complexion, or you know, especially if they get in certain angles of them. I'm gonna be tough for real. Say if somebody is trying to exploit you on a porn site, but they only get in certain angles. 
like your back end or just your stomach. It's hard to identify who the fuck it is. But if you, if they see you in the house and you start walking around and they get in your full body and then you actually walk outside and they can walk out there and see, it's something that I don't know what this is, but somehow, some way, they want you to stay in because again, they don't want you to get identified. I don't know what this is very specific. You may already be somebody that's on OnlyFans. I'm gonna be for real, for real right now. Mm. I did one read where I said you could be a porn star. What do I wanna do? Some of you guys too, you get when you go out in nature, that's what help you to um that's what helps you to get recharged. Now, also, I heard, too, they don't want you to go out because you could. they could be tracking. Because that's you already being stalked. You already being watched. They might have trackers on your car, your location and stuff. So the more you move around, say this person could have moved into your neighborhood. But if you move around and you start going places, these people that are now investigating it, they're going to be able to locate where you are. They don't want people to come and identify you or ask you any questions. It's something of that nature. It's going to show that you being out and moving and on a roll, it's something about that shit that's going to expose them. Community in reverse. Like, they don't want you to talk to your community. They don't want your community to help you. But you getting out in the nature is how your community is going to help you. But they don't want your community to help you at all. For some of you guys, this person could even uh, went around your community and talked bad about your community to you. So they made your community turn against you. Mm. It could be people in your family that did this to you. When you went on this trip or when you went away. Something happened when you was away. Something happened when you was away. What, let me pull one of these. They're waiting for you to contact them. So somebody has gotten aware that they, again, that they have fucking, they let the wrong people. Damn, some of y'all could even be your fucking family. Some of y'all really could have been your family that, or they or either they lied and said they was your family, or this really could have been your family that did this to you. Somebody wants you to speak up and come to them because they may be scared to even... Whoever gave authorization may be scared to let you know because they, you know, that's, they, they made a mistake. They did something wrong. So they may be wanting you to come to them and open up so they could be like, yes. So that you know that like, y'all can work together. They don't. They may not want to get in trouble for this, if that makes sense. And I don't think, I feel like if y'all talk to them... I, don't, I feel like y'all should be able... I don't know, but they waiting for somebody to contact them. <laughs> they waiting for you to contact them. What's really going on? Again, somebody... Who, who gonna want to be like... Damn, I think I left somebody in your house. Huh. Somebody feel like you could... You over it. You bored. You could be depressed. Somebody is hoping because this is, this is a hand coming from the sky. Somebody is hoping that you, like, you pay attention to the signs of synchronicities and you do reach out to them. Whoever you are to, whatever they said about you, it's not matching up. Because look at this person. They got sweats and big t-shirt. Looking like me. Sweats and big t-shirt on. You just over this shit. Somebody's like... Because <laughs> not even like that. Some Somebody could have even got intrigued. Was like, well, let me see. Somebody, again, could have said you with a... This could be going back to my reading where I said the fake PR. Somebody could be... They could be acting like they are your PR team or something. No, this is a big star or we make a lot of money. Because they didn't make a lot of money off of you. And so this other person was like, well, let me see. If y'all putting it in the house and we're like, oh, shit, let, behind the scenes, look. And they like, well, how the fuck you making money or how are they this? And they looking like this. It's something that's not adding up. <laughs> something ain't adding up. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What is going on? Especially if you're dealing with some porn. They're like, what the fuck? Where is the, where is the action at? This person is sitting around bored, discontent. This is over shit. Depressed. What's really going on? And 
Okay, some of you guys may need to go get like a scanner. Scan your fucking house, y'all. What is this? gonna be a tower moment because somebody is gonna realize you were never working and collaborating with these other people these people always had a lack of support with you it is not all love and light when it comes to these people these people had it out for you i'm gonna say it again god damn this is gonna cause a tower moment gonna cause an unexpected change all right now somebody was refusing to walk away from you you will have some type of victory or success. It strongly could be a cancer. In my reading, I said it was a cancer. Come through. This could even be dealing with travel and relocation. You're going to have this victory. Hmm. They don't want you to have this victory, but just the fuck you are. What is this? Oh, yeah. They about to be ashamed and regret because you about to come up out of them sleepless nights. They for sure made a bad decision. Yes, they did. They about to be having heavy, heavy sleepless nights. Heavy, heavy sleepless nights. Somebody don't understand why. Them, they gonna be, they gonna be saying why. Oh, jeez, who is? They gonna be saying why. That's all I heard. They gonna be saying why. Well, damn. What the fuck is going on, spirit? Damn, yeah, secretly somebody moved the fuck on and healing. And somebody, so some of you guys, this is strongly an ex. This could be an ex working with your family. or Y'all might even have a family with them. And in their mind, y'all still together. Or y'all, you were going to eventually take them back. So they thought they were going to eventually come in and, and come live with you in this fucking house. It could even be them waiting for you to contact them. Child, what the fuck is wrong with this person? You said, ain't no happily ever after. We ain't about to get married. We ain't about to be together. But some of you guys, this could be somebody in your dysfunctional ass family. This is a dysfunctional family. This is a broken up family. Yeah, you will recover. You will heal. The secrets is going to come out, regardless whether or not they wanted to or not. You and this person ain't married. Y'all ain't to get. You will recover. You will heal. It's going to be some unexpected income and a brand new opportunity out of this situation. Keep moving the calmer waters and doing whatever it is that you got to do. Taking care of yourself. But I'll, it's, somebody about to be devastated. Because you not devastated over these secrets. That you know somebody illegally watching and surveillance you in your motherfucking house. They didn't came in your house. They didn't came in your house when you was gone. Yes, the fuck they did. They was in your house when you was on vacation. Or while you was gone or something. Especially if you left something open like a back door. They came through the fucking back door. And they did it on the low. Out of the public view. From the back. Abusing their power and their authority. Trying to take this. Some of you guys is a home. Again. Or steal from you. They were trying to hoping to steal from you. Some of you guys they thought you was away. And they thought you left some money in your house. So they thought they were going to come in and take that from you. Somebody thought that you left some money somewhere in your fucking house. What is this Ten of Cups in reverse? For some of you guys, you moved from one one of your old places had cameras in it. And they could have went inside of it because they thought she was a way to take the cameras off. And they got, they got somebody must have caught their ass in that motherfucking other place because you was gone. You wasn't in there. They thought she was. Some of you guys, they thought she was on vacation, but she was actually gone. My daughter just yelled, yes. But she was gone. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? Somebody thought she was playing games with them. Like you were trying to manipulate them. Oh, you ain't really leaving. You ain't really going. You trying to play us. Let's run up in there when they gone, fellow. You was really gone. You took all your shit and was gone. Somebody could have even realized, damn, I'm on camera. I don't know why I just heard I'm on camera. Somebody could have looked up and seen the camera. You stalking them and watching them. We gonna, it's the camera up. It's some illusions around this family. Y'all not being together. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You, wait a minute. Somebody said you didn't know your self-worth. You weren't independent. 
we had to help them when it came to... Again, somebody was saying that you was working with them, that they had to help you. I don't know why somebody could even say you were slow, you was crazy. <laughs> Incapable of doing something. They was helping take care of you or like your kids. There's a lot of illusions around this family. Some money, a property, what happened with a house, a family business. They could even say that we running a business together. Again, there's a lot of lack of support when it comes to this stuff. There could even be a split a split into a family dynamic because half of the family it does not agree with what they did to you. Especially if this is your family just stalking you because they knew you had money. Somebody could have put cameras in your house to figure out where you was hiding money. Because they wanted to set you up and rob you. That's nasty. That's still sick as fuck. Especially if you have children. Even if you don't, that's still nasty as fuck. Who the fuck want they sit family to sit up and watch them? I was about to cause a, a fight. Because, yeah, somebody manipulated you. And your energy, they could even say you was a hoe. Your family could even say that they was helping you with your business. Running your um, online sex business. Let's be for real, for real right now. Yeah, because somebody manipulated you thinking that you was codependent. You was a hoe. You was codependent on money. It's a lot of secrets going on. A lot of shit in secrecy. Okay. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? They said you was a hoe. <laughs> and you, they help you. Be, who the fuck wants their family to help them with their home and business? Who the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I'm going to allow my brother or my sister to pimp me out or hold me out. What kind of shit is that? So what, they're going to be sitting there watching me fuck? That's some nasty shit. I don't, it's a lot of illusions. A lot of games being played. A lot of games and a lot of illusions being played. Hello, surrounding you in this Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy. This could even be, why aren't you not in this independent energy? Why can't this person work on their own? Why don't this person... For some of you guys, it's the money that was being, being made. And it was going to help you to be financially independent and free. And you not in that energy. So the motherfuckers is wondering why... Because especially if you got popular on something and you live in a certain way, they wondering why the fuck you not living that way. What the fuck really going on? Especially nothing came to you. Especially if people been donating to you a lot. However it go... They're like, what the fuck is going on? People are starting to question and wonder what's going on. Where is the where is the money going? Where they want to know where their money is going to what they did. Okay. If you ain't getting it, who getting it? Mm. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you? I'm trying to tell you, how come you don't have no money? How come you off balance and off center? For some of you guys, there's a woman as well, too, that was working behind the scenes doing this. They don't get no more chances. Somebody made a bad decision, a real bad decision. And it's some unfinished business on what they did to you. Being selfish and greedy and not giving you any heads up, not telling you shit. This could even been, they could even this. They could even resort to doing spell work on you to have you in some type of very high sexual energy. It possibly didn't work, it just possibly made you, um, you know, watch a lot of porn or some shit, y'all. Anyway. Yeah, you really to who so that you can release some burdens and some stress. But you did. You released that shit. You could then be releasing everybody around you once you didn't realize you should have been trying to figure out where this energy was coming from. Right? You didn't feel it was something wrong. It was something off. Especially if you know these people around you dibble and devil and spell work. Y'all know it's all type of spell work. So especially if you are very um how can I say it? How can I say it? Especially, anyway, you not naive. You ain't, I hate when I can't say the right words. Like, you're not new to spell work. You know, this type of shit ain't new to you. You already know what people will do to get people to act a certain way. You know it was something being done to have you act a certain way or feel a certain way. Because they wanted you to act, they wanted you to act, they wanted you to act out, but you was protected. They didn't realize how heavily protected you were. Somebody, y'all yeah, had groups of people doing all type of like sex work on you to try to make you do some shit. This is nasty. I'm trying to tell you, making money off of you. But in the higher fit and reverse energy, some of you guys, this could even been a priest, a pastor, a dark art specialist. It's about to be some bad news for this King of Cups in reverse. It was a male in here too, orchestrating all of this shit. 
doing heavy work on you. Doing heavy, it's clear as day. Refusing to walk away all these secrets. Trying to keep you away from the pu uh, public. It's something about them trying to keep you away from the public eye as well. So they wanted you to stay in the house all day. Like, fucking, are touching your... I don't even know what the fuck this is, y'all. This is wild. This King of Wands in reverse. What the fuck is this? For some of you guys, too, it was like a lot of manipulation where they was like getting angles of your house and then going and trying to replicate them different angles in the house and acting like, oh, I'm the one with the camera. I'm the one behind it. I'm right here with them. And there's a lot of weird shit. Sleeping with all these different people that look like you or have the hair, same hair texture as you, but you couldn't fully, like they wasn't showing the face, though. They could have been just showing the skin complexion and the hair texture type shit. It was just certain angles that they was um, showing. What is this? But something, mm, something blew up. Something got like a lot of attention, more than what they thought it was going to be. Ugh, what is this? Yeah. Somebody didn't realize God was your source. I got the phone. Somebody didn't realize God was your source. So obstacle or block is about to get lifted. Because again, once something started blowing up for you, technically them, because they were making money off of you, they tried to block wherever you were doing your actual work at. I feel like you in they little fake, it ain't even fake. You in their hidden surveillance business from you when they both started blowing up, they tried to get you out the picture. Because they knew people were going to start stalking and wanting to talk to you, right? About this. They tried to do all that spell work and all that evil shit to you. But they didn't realize like God was the source. God was frilling you. So you can't go up against God. Somebody could even say you was a rat. Hello, but you ain't no rat. You ain't no hoe. Anyway, somebody could be born in the year of the rat, though. 1936, 1948, 1960, 1972, 1984, 1996, 2008. This could have even occurred in one of these years. Or in 2020, it could even happen. A false motherfucking flame, that's what they are. And I say somebody could even say y'all was together, or y'all was in a relationship, had a family together. It's a false flame. That you was helping them. I'm their twin flame. I'm helping them get on their journey. No, the fuck they not. Yeah, they said you was a friend or a co-worker. Somebody was coming in to help you. They not. No, they not. False flame. Who is the rat incompatible with? A horse and a rabbit. Y'all not compatible. This is a rabbit. Y'all not even compatible. This is a false flame. Come through, spirit. You're not even compatible. Let's see, when? When did this happen? When they gonna get exposed? Next month. So don't worry about shit. Next month, it's gonna be an unexpected change. Some of you guys, you're gonna meet this person out in nature and you're gonna reject this person or you're gonna see them. Oh, some of you guys might see this person in person in your area. And you're going to be like, why the fuck are you over here? Because they have to get close to you, especially if you relocated and moved. Because something now adding up to why you so far apart. They probably, Did not say they thought you wasn't really going <sighs> to... The magician. All right, so your ancestor is about to pull a fast one. That's that tower. They're about to pull a fast one. Whoever you are, you are a magi magician. You manifested something right between they, before their eyes. They didn't understand how. They probably didn't understand how the fuck you got away. Hmm. This person about to be crying wolf. Talking about I choose you. No the fuck. Y'all bet not get in no relationship with this bitch. Pay attention. Change up your routine. Child, stagnant. I don't want... I want you, but my life not in order. Do not. They about to get in trouble. Yeah, prioritize and focus on your priorities. If they ain't already in trouble, and get your ass a restraining order. Come through, spirit. You better not. Child. Go get you a motherfucking restraining order. Next month, when that truth gets revealed... Everything isn't going to make sense right now, but next month it fucking will. 
Yeah, ambition and time is not. They for sure try to set you up and rob you for a higher commitment. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no. Hell no. I love y'all so much. Take care. And they said you, yeah, you independent, and they said you wasn't independent. Bet you really much. You pretty much are. They could even be telling people that you're not single. But some of you guys, too, they're telling people that y'all are in a relationship, like I said, and you're not single. So that nobody will come to you and want to be with you. Being crooked and corrupt, but you pretty much are single. They could even be doing spell work to have you in isolation and have you depressed to get away with what they've been doing. They're trying to desensitize you to the fact that they, they got you in a false relationship with them. Again, that's why they don't want you to get out in nature. They don't want people talking to you because they're going to get exposed. Some of you guys, too, this person has already been out in nature. Some of you guys, they're like walking around showing people shit like on the phone. In your name. I don't even know. This is crazy. Yeah, who the fuck that? Misusing your energy. I just seen that. All right. I love you guys so much. You can't be seen with them. Well, duh. You can't. Get the fuck. Get the. Somebody need to do something. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. I love you guys so much. Take care.